guys, I I did a little bit of self reflection. The last bit. couple weeks, like week and a half, I guess, not fully two weeks. I have made the uh, decision to just remain single. Why? With my, th- I just. <sighs> what happened? Like that just, seems like pretty random. Like, well, after the the breakup in April, of course, you know, I it wasn't I wasn't like happy about it, but it was like I knew the longevity of the situation wasn't going to be a good thing. Like, long-term, you know, I, this is good. Right. And nothing's really changing and everything like that. So, and I'm still trying to do my thing. And I felt like I was, you know, somebody else that really didn't care if they had their shit together or not. And I felt bad because I really liked them. And lo and behold, looking through some of the, because uh, I was trying to see what I was going to caption uh, the show that I share when we do a new show. And I was reading through, because I usually like to do little silly captions, as you can tell, if, I've, if you've been reading them on Facebook. And I was, like, scrolling through, and, of course, there was a little bit of uh, ego. I was chuckling to myself with my own silly jokes. And then a reason why you don't have social media, it was something that I was tagged in on Lexi's page. Uh, and that's, that's... That brought up the profile picture. And her profile picture's always been her and her brother that had passed away. And it was a picture of her with some dude behind her at the beach. Hell some dude yeah. with a beard and like, you know, Dr. Disrespect shades. And I was like, huh. I guess I really didn't, I didn't matter that much after all that. Like all the, the you know, I felt like a bad person. Like I was like, I felt sorry. You know, I was like, God, and it's just not going to work or whatever like that. And it's like, I'm breaking, you know, you're, bre- you're breaking my heart. My heart is hurting so much now and this and that and everything I'm, I'm like, oh my God, like, I feel like I'm really hurting this person in the same time that I'm like, what? Apparently not at all then. To so, be, to be fair. I took on. it easy on her in that, that hold relationship hold episode. Hold we went easy. I don't, right, but, but we have to kind of explain a little more because that episode, what episode was it? Relationship Sucks. I forgot what number yeah, that was. Relationship Sucks. Sometimes. Here, so, sometimes. Sometimes. so it was a couple days before. The weekend before, right? That's when she made a trip randomly to Ohio. Right, was ghosting me. On, right. You know, wouldn't answer my texts, wouldn't talk to right. me about things when I'm trying to She be came like, back on that like, Monday. Right, she came back on that Monday and whatever, you guys hardly talked, whatever. That's what, yeah, that's when I was like, all right, like, right. if you're not even going to do that, like something's weird and this is not like her at all and right. she won't talk to me and it's not... Can't get through. Now we had we had I like lost trust, so yeah. I made the decision. We had theories, and you know, possible like different outcomes because it was just so strange. Like you come back from Ohio and like you just, you know, I don't know, don't communicate with your significant other, or whatever. Right, that you allegedly care for so much, you know, in the world, right? But you know? but let me tell you something. This as like guy code, a best friend, like. After that night, after we did that episode, was like the highlight of my like friend career. Right, can because, I set the stage? Yeah, set, set okay. the stage. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The show is over. Will's gone home, and I'm taking a shit. And he's taking a shit. Right. So I'm scrolling through Instagram and stuff, and then my phone goes off, and it's Will, and he just left. So I'm thinking, you know, he forgot something. He's just coming back. You know, unlock the door or something, or maybe he's at the door and I'm not hearing it. So I answer, and he is going off. I think. That you're in an accident, something horrible. Dude, bro, you're knocking. What? And I'm, Take it away, Maestro. What did you say to me on the phone? All right, so as I'm driving. Before that episode even aired. Right, so as I'm driving, um, I see uh, I see a car, and it just looks like any ordinary car. As most cars do. Right. It, it's, four, so, four wheels. Yeah, four wheels, you know, whatever. And uh, windows, sure. yeah. So. And I see the license plate, and I see it's like an Ohio State license plate. So I'm like, and then on that particular car, I'm like, huh, okay. And, you know, and then I, I, I pull up aside, and then that's when I see her. And and then also I see some right. random dude. The Batman logo hanging in yeah. the rear view. Right. I mean, you know, the busted uh, side view mirror that's poorly duct taped together. It, you know, you could pick it out. So, so I get up aside, and I see it's her in there. So automatically, that's when I go and call Tyler. And then I'm giving him play-by-play, like I'm John Madden on a football game. 
Well, I got full they're description. Going down 19. I mean, coming right. from Clearwater. They're going right. down 19. They're on the 30 yard line. Right. And, yeah, exactly. Like what? And she lives in Madeira Beach. Why is she up here? No, she, and, no, and she literally drove right by his house. And I was trying to get my shit back. So, so we're going down, and, and then I, I, then I'm going on all sides of the car to try to like see who's driving. <laughs> who's I'm giving driving. a full description, her, whatever. Her five year old son driving. Yeah, and I'm, I'm telling. Mom's too drunk. Take I'm telling him who's in the back, who's driving, what they're wearing, like full play by play description, and. Um, Dude with a beard. And we were driving pretty much almost all Damn. the way towards my house, <laughs> and I was right beside them the whole entire time. And they did not acknowledge me whatsoever. Like they, I guess right. they had no that clue. That was hilarious because when he told me that, the fact that I was trying your, to get my car is pretty recognizable. If any, if anybody even hears my name, they know what car like associates with that because it's so rare. He's like got, it's he's a, got a mom car with a giant ass spoiler. On it's the not a mom car. It. It's a, it's uh, a dad. It's a daddy mobile. It, pretty much, yeah. yeah. It is. It, it's but it, it's it is. Car. It it's is. But awesome. it's thugged out though. So I'm just saying, it's I mean, pretty we're, unique. We're at Slam Fest last you year. you can't miss yeah. it. So the fact that when you kind of brought it up as right. a teaser, that was the fun part because I was trying to get my stuff back, like I was saying, and the fact of knowing that she like, was stretching you. it out, and I right and ignoring me, and I told her, I said, look, I've got all your stuff bagged up, like I want my things back, and the fact that she was here, you could have just left it. You know, so I was like, you know what? Or you can get your little lap dog to uh, come by and drop it off for you. And she was like, I don't know what you're talking about. What's because she's not, you know, the brightest bulb in the cabinet. Um, not even the here, same. Here, here's, no, yeah. here, here's, here's one thing that really. That's why it was a fit. Here's one thing that really pisses me off. The fact is that. How did you know he drove me home last night? I got to have that and be like, ooh, ooh, ooh I advise everything. The fact, the fact that she's been, you've been oh. together with her, she's been with you for over a year, and for her to just, in just a flip of a, you know, snap of a finger, just could move on to someone else and then, like, tell yeah. you, I mean, like. I'm not surprised, like, because that's some people's thing, you know, you, to get over somebody. Rebounds help. You get under but, somebody. But, but, but there was an initial. 19, and that's a very immature way of thinking about it. I used to do stuff like Disagree. that, too, and it doesn't really get you. But anywhere. there was no, you guys you weren't on. You end up a... hurting somebody else, and that ends up. No, no, but you weren't on a break Disagree, or anything. Yeah. She just went ghost, and then that's when you're like, "Well, I guess we're done." Yeah, some dude was already lined up, apparently. Right, dude, and but like nothing, right but, but nothing prior to that happened. No, exactly. It just randomly one well, day. You know what, man? The guilty people often make the first move. Mm. So this is at least giving me some closure. Was it mildly upsetting at the time? Yeah, not for the fact that I'm surprised that she's with someone else. She's absolutely gorgeous. I have, to, yeah. Why do you think I? If there's nothing going on between the ears. It's all out here. I tell you what, her drama is someone else's problem. She's not the, the sharpest well, syringe in your sock, but it, it, you'll get past it for the way she looks. But then there are, there were even other times where I was just like, I, I don't know if I can handle like how crazy she gets over like Justin Bieber. Like 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 shit. And I'm not saying being a fan of something that I don't like is a, but it's like life or death. I can only imagine what what. The conversation I would have had when I realized he went like Fetty Wap on us, you know, because of his fucking face paralysis. She probably cried for three days straight. It's what? just, I can't deal with that. Yeah, he's like half the side of his face. He suffers from like a rare condition. Not. Justin Bieber? Yeah. Yeah. It, he's really, what? It's really no, possible. It, no, it is. But anyway. Anyway. No, that seriously happened. He's fucked up right now. Like permanently? Well, we don't know. <laughs> no, but I'm seriously, but he's got droopy eye and like he, he's like, yeah. Oh, it's almost like he had a stroke, but he's like talking. To he's you on permanent. Up, yeah. He's like on permanent. Zandies. When did this happen? Like a couple months a couple ago. Months Where ago. you been, dude? What? Well, basically, I broke up with her, and his face busted. Like that's what happened. Damn. So okay. So seeing that and knowing, like, I still feel better. Like we did the. Would you rather? Would you rather have to tell your significant other you're cheating or? have them cheat on you and of course i said have them cheat on me because that's not what i'm about mm. and i can leave knowing that my character is you know i have integrity for myself at right. least a little bit and so a little bit i'm not a little bit yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm not surprised but i was disappointed i'm just like man i really like for those little week couple weeks i was like god like 
I fell for I'm it. Right. I hope she like. I, I don't want it, but I hope she's all right. I hope this really wasn't like you know everybody leaves kind of thing because that's she has a, abandonment issues and fear of that. So I'm like, but yet so that but yet she did it to you. Right. Exactly. But yet she did exactly. it to you. Exactly. So it's fine. Um, <laughs> it's just a little disappointing that you just. Something that she preaches, she tends up to do. Well, Which is uh, today's topic. Let's talk about toxic femininity. Ooh. And I don't mean just, you know, any old, you know, time of the month, I'm pregnant, hormones. That's, that's nonsense. But I mean, like, real talk. What's, who's the first toxic woman you think you ever met in your life? Because I can tell you mine. Mm, it's uh, my mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's not very... I have nothing against... And don't say, Tyler hates women. No, I come from a long line of them. It, it matters to me. But she lies a lot. Yeah. But really stretches that truth as much as you can. She's very, where you're like, very yeah. gossipy as well. Very gossipy. Very uh, happy to your face, and then we'll talk shit behind your back. Like yeah, that's the opposite of my mom. She right. will she will say it right to your face. Oh, yeah, she'll talk shit and to your face. And then she'll punch you right in the face for being <laughs> stupid. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, the that's a, that's a, yeah, that's how she does it. Right, she, and gonna... I would say that's probably my first, <laughs> and then our sister, I, who also I became... Really. I, see, I grew up with, right. with a girl being two years older, so that was the dynamic, you know... Girls roll, boys drool, you know, going to Jupiter to get stupider and going to, co- you know, all that <laughs> stupid bullshit. What the fuck? Right. But she you was got half Jupiter, bro. You're smart as hell. No. That, that far? No. <laughs> Girls <laughs> go to Venus to get more penis. That's what they do. So, so pretty much what's bringing all this on. Then is, they go to Earth because they got to give birth. Is, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so, <laughs> so, so again, what's bringing all this on is just seeing on, on social media that, that she was like creeping on you. And this is what brought, brought in all well, these. Well, that, that brought the idea up. But on Monday, I know I talked about it with you. I had an interaction with yeah, a lady, a woman that came into uh, my store. Now her and I had a brief sort of like back and forth. And I wasn't sure because I don't, like, think of myself as, you know, some kind of prize. That's red flag number one. If you're interested in me, it's like, there's a problem. So I see her go by, and, you know, she's a good-looking blonde. She's dressed, dressed to the nines. And, uh, you know, she looked, and just naturally, you know, I'm, like, smiling at people. And she goes, she smiles. I'm like, oh, she's nice. And then she comes back and looks and smiles again. I'm like, wow, oh, she's in a great, she's having a good day, right? Third time. <laughs> comes back, I'm like, having a great day. What the fuck? Is what up the- here. She has come by three times. Dude, she used to call, she called the store oh, one time. Shit. Like she's running out of stuff to come in and get, because she wants to talk to me. So I did. I got to know her a little bit. Then I started dating my previous ex, Corinne. Right? Now that I work at that store again, guess who still shops there? This chick. I guess she found more stuff to buy. Right. Well. Yeah, believe it or not, most people get groceries. Like, at least one, <laughs> well, she week. found me on Facebook. A little bit before I was dating Lexi, and her and I had a little bit of a dialogue, a little bit of back and forth. Okay. A little bit of a dialogue. A little bit of back and forth, yeah. Because we talked for a little bit on Monday, and I forgot that I had her number in my phone. Just the fact that I, I, I will tell you, I, I, no, I, even though you said you told me, I completely forgot. Oh, I so know. this is like brand new to me. I, I forget. I oh, don't forget on purpose. Excuse me. This was Tuesday. Tuesday. I got a text from her after she left the store. Uh, all I'm going to say is that it never fails. Every time I see you, I lose my breath and get butterflies in my stomach. It takes everything I have to act normal. Ha ha. She just wants to get fucked, dude. Yeah. It's, so all, it's all lies. I let an hour and ten minutes go by. And I said, wow, really? Ha ha. I'm glad I haven't lost my touch then, you know, with little finger guns. <laughs> and then she... This and, guy, yeah, and Prince yeah. Charming over yeah. here. Fucking... My game is to have no game. Uh, literally every time, haha, ha, she says, and then it texts right afterwards. I think you're my kryptonite. I get all weird when I see you. Now I did not respond after that. I'm not sending anything back because why not? I tried talking to this woman because it was perfect. She has a great job. That's why she dresses so well. House husband, hot blonde, right? And I'm thinking this is it, kind of thing. When we were talking. No texting after 5 p.m. or on weekends. Now, you guys go ahead and figure out 
what's the problem here? Right? Because I was like, that's, that's a, fucking she's, sus. Can I guess? Go ahead. That's what I mean. Go ahead. What, she's married. Right, what was the reason? Married. That, yeah. Married. <laughs> I mean, what other option? Like, yeah. I'm just saying. She married. was involved with yeah. something. Buddy now, got a nice She did come over. Yeah, she came over here like one time, like on her lunch break, because that was the only way she was gonna get away. Mm. You know, to come over to my place and stuff, and like, you know, she came in and kind of half jumped my bones and then left. And then I, I did. I did just. I had to ask. I was like, you know, are you involved with someone? And then she was like, yeah. And I was like, God, I'm not that kind of girl. Uh, I am. You know what I mean? Like, that's, <laughs> I right? am. But this, this is everything that I hear that guys do. Guys, men, 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 men. And all I'm seeing, men, I mean, men, yes, men, 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 men. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not getting, but I'm not getting that. Stop singing, shut up! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> this isn't the fucking karaoke. <laughs> it can be. Oh. Yeah, okay, so she was involved, and in, 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 I'm assuming, did you find out she had a husband? No, because I dropped everything right then and there. I was like, Why? look, I can't, I can't. Why can't, I mean, I, I can't Why can't you have ass? Why can't you have ass? fucked up. I wouldn't want to be that guy. But that's, yeah, that's her choice. Guy, anyway. But that's her, that's choice. her choice. But it's also my choice to not be involved in that kind of then behavior. Don't, then next time, don't ask. It's a good I, fucking idea. I like though. that. No fucking good, intelligent idea. Like idea. <laughs> no fucking Me? Idea. Me? I have, wait, I about. have no integrity? Tell something Okay. About. Okay, I have no intent. Oh, yeah. You should just fuck on the first date and blah, blah, blah. I remember all of that. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay. I mean, I do, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I do, too. I'm just saying, like, it was... It, and the fact that it was, like, she was starting to text me like that, like, almost ex expecting a response. Now, I probably shouldn't have responded the first time, but I would have felt like a dick. Like, if I was just, you know, that's why I was like, ha you know, still got the touch. Yeah. Like all boys. And then she's like, hey, what am I supposed to I'm your crypt tonight? What am I okay, Supergirl, whisk me away. Like, what the fuck are we going to do from here? Just fuck. That's a good point, I don't Will. even want to do that, point, though. Dude. I don't That's even want to do that. Why? Because it doesn't ever come without strings. That's it's not never. True. Very, no, no. very rarely, true. very rarely does it not come without strings. Okay, so if, if she wasn't in a relationship, would you feel more like inclined to do it then oh yeah okay so it's just so it's just because she's in a relationship it's a matter of infidelity really but like what if you two hit it off and like i mean she, we did she's so, okay. she she's leaves smart. him she and goes with you instead my, why would he want to date a girl who he knows well, yeah cheats. if you can cheat and you just skip like that you could do that right back to me Been that's there, why i've never, that, got a t-shirt yeah, i can't I, and i can't like, that's why i want to stay single i don't even want to fuck with people I don't even want to do any of that. This guy, Matt, that I work with the other day, we saw this chick, and she was looking fine. A lot of really good-looking women come into my by location. And he was looking at her, and he's like, fuck, man. He goes, I just I just want five days, man. Just I just five days. <laughs> Wait, that's all he wants. And I was like, right? And I thought to myself, you know what? That should be a TV show. Fuck 90-day fiancé. Just five-day fuck. You got five days to seal the deal. After that, if you like each other, yeah, you can still see each other. And afterwards, whatever. You got five days to get it in. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't think that'd be a good show at all, honestly. Yeah, it really would. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I hear what you're saying because, like, I, I've been in both those situations where I've been the guy that the girl cheated on her. I have boyfriend too. with, yeah. and then and I was also, me, and then I was also the one that the girl left her current to be with me. Right. So I've been, on both, uh, yeah. So you know, I, you know I, so I, I just, get, right. so I get it. Wait, what? No, I said it right. You said it right. I said no, it right. You said you're the guy that the girl was cheating, cheating on. on. Right. Oh, never mind. And yeah. the guy that the girl left someone else yeah, for. Yeah, that's right. I, I got it right. I'm just, I'm just fucking. I'm, not, yeah, I'm just saying. Always trying to fact check me. But yeah, in dude. between dating Corinne and dating Lexi, there's been a bit of a hodgepodge of just weird stuff that As has happened. It normally is. There was one that I was saying, and mind you, we had already been intimate with each other. But there was she was having a really bad day. I picked her up. She was sobbing. She was pissed drunk i brought her back here Good combination put her on the couch went to walmart bought a DiGiorno's pizza made her some pizza oh, yeah. tried to feed it to her on the couch 
I just, you know, had myself some pizza and watched the movie. She's passed out on the couch, whatever. I go to bed. I tucked her in. I put pillows under her. I'm not going to bother her. The next morning, you know what she said? What? I woke up with all my clothes on. I mean, I'm, I don't know whether or not to be offended. <laughs> now, I get it. We've already been doing stuff together, so it's not like I'm not allowed to. Right, Louis C.K. did a bit like that. Are almost you like, right, I Well, no, but still, that she's passed out drunk oh, yeah. and emotional. I'm not going to just... Bleh. I, I, I don't know. I just, I'm not going to do that. It's weird. It's yeah. it's rapey. It's rapey. And that was the Louis C.K. bit where he, he was talking about a, a date he went out on with a chick and they, they were getting along really well. They liked each other a lot. Everything was going, and then just nothing. And then met up with her one day and was like, you know what? I really liked you. Why didn't we do anything? He goes, yeah, I liked you too. I, you know, we never did. I like guys to just go for it. Same mentality. You right. think I'm going to rape you like in the off chance that you're into that? You think I'm just gonna go for it? No. 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 It's fucked up. Yeah, especially nowadays. Right. That's you like can't. a dude being like, I'm gonna take a shower without me. <laughs> Come on. Come on. It's without the behavior, me. folks, but we're not done. We're not done. There was another one. I got used by one for a couple of weeks. Oh, that, that's Which always... was still fun, but I didn't know that that's what it was. So I'm thinking I'm having a great time with a cool chick that, you know, likes to do a lot of the same stuff I do. And, and then fuck. And then, uh, yeah, and then bye-bye birdie after a couple of weeks. I think it gets lost at, like... Like Jeremy Piven, right? I, <laughs> You're I, just going to sleep with me and then leave. <laughs> and then leave. <laughs> this is what guys talk about. You're just, this hurts. <laughs> yeah, I mean... It I, sucks for a little I think it gets team. lost, like... That women can't do the same. Oh, they do all the, the time. The same. They know that. They know that. No, but I'm I, just saying it's not discussed. It's always like, oh, man, men are pieces of shit and blah, blah, blah. That's why we're blah. having the talk But right it, it's not, but women are, can equally I feel like it's, it's also that, like, guys are a lot more accepting of the idea that, like, like, oh, dude, I totally hate, like, a lot of guys wouldn't be I can agree with They'd that. Be, oh, I, I got that, bro. Yeah. They wouldn't yeah. care at all. Well, I'm, I'm not most guys. And you're, you're in fact one man. I used to do. Yeah, that's true. I am one person, um, but I could be many. In my early mid twenties, I was still. I mean, I was getting away from that because it was my first long term relationship. But you're a little mid twenties. Yes. Before <laughs> that, in your time, okay. So yes, but now he took the title. Yeah, but these these women are either close to my age or a little bit older. So I'm a little like, damn, when does this stop? Like, holy shit, folks. Like, we're going to grow up a little? I guess not. Like, that's cool. Just let me know beforehand. Because when I get into something now, I go ahead and lay it all out there. Can you deal or no? Hmm. If you can't, then whatever. Let's call it for what it is. But let's not bullshit each other. You know, even if, okay, the one I got used for, the first day was right out the fucking gate. And I was like, damn, I already got laid that fast. It, after that, the second we were done, she should have just been like, so I'm not looking for what a, you know, just like, that, just nothing. None of that. And I'm like, oh, she, she wants to come hang out again. Oh, she wants to come hang out again. Oh, she wants to come hang out again. Okay, cool, cool. Mm-hmm. Hi. No, I didn't go and pursue her. Oh, what happened? I was just like, dang, I guess, yeah. Well, okay. Moving so on. To define what bi means to you. Like, did she, like, unfollow you or, like, go, or, like, no. block your number? No. Or, like, so no. what happened? Exactly. No, I'm telling, I'm asking. Like, uh, she just kind of stopped talking to me. Just stopped just answering? Ghosted. Yeah. Or stopped ghosted. texting first? No, stopped, stopped answering. Like, so you sent the last text message, there's just no response? Yeah. Okay. Ghosted. I thought you were, like, she just stopped, I was like, you can reach out, too. But if oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Okay. No. thought it was, like, a pride thing for a No, it's so, always two. So, so now, like... If you're not a per- so would you be more accepting or willing if women just approached you now, like instead of you having to do that chase, in that whole game? Well, I never really do. They usually approach me. Oh, because you're just a fucking stud over here, Mister Man. Well, That's no, why. I'm not looking for it. But you know, they, you know, someone asks, and I'm like, okay. You know, I I asked Lexi. You know, she didn't come at me. Right. So um, you have, yeah. I'm saying, like you have more. I'm saying now, are you more? Oh, like, I like the chase. 
I like the chase. A little banter, a little flirtiness. A little um, banter. Yeah, you gotta kind of get to. You gotta feel someone out first. You know, vet them. I need. I will. need clarification. Feel I, someone I, out. Anyway. I need to know. Yeah. I need to know from her friends, managers, bosses. Oh, anything. I can tell. I need to know a hundred percent. Like it would be okay for I me to. Because I'm not trying to be like the next like Johnny Depp. Did she laugh at my bad like joke? That. Yep. She's a that's all. Point. That's all it takes. Red flag. Or <laughs> that's a red flag. It's another one. She likes my jokes. <laughs> that's a good way to tell. Uh -oh. like, you always try to like let the conversation die a little bit, and then they just start up again. Mm. And you're like, okay, cool. I wonder, like, like how are the girls like your age? Like, so... oh, they're miserable. <laughs> it's awful. So really, they're nothing. Awful now. So it's... really, nothing different. Well, it, like, then, right? A lot of it is just uh, like it never gets past a certain point. Like, I don't try to just, like, fuck around with people, but it just never get develops to a certain point. It's always something happens. Like, oh. Example. Uh, like, for instance, um, the last girl, like, I talked to briefly, um, like, very briefly. Talked to? Like, we went out. No, we didn't do anything at all. Uh, we went out to, uh, she wanted to show me. We didn't even kiss, so I don't know why you're, all right. Uh, she went out to show me like uh, kratom. Have you guys ever had that? Yeah. Oh, your butthole? It's fucking disgusting. It's called kratom. Oh, it's some root is. hippie shit that like everyone in St. Pete loves. I used it for a different reason, but go I ahead. No clue. That when it's that in is. a drink, it tastes like fucking dirt. And I people say that all the time, but you can literally taste like dirt part. Like it's a root, so it's dirt. It's actual dirt drink. Am I the only one that doesn't know what the fuck this is? That's why I'm explaining it to you, you fucking <laughs> clown. Um, and it's disgusting. And so she, she wanted me to try that or whatever. And so we sit down and we're outside. We're having a good time. Like her friend, uh, she met like one of her old friends there. And he had like a... That she fucked? No. Oh. Um, and he had like this, uh, what is it, the tarot cards or whatever. Oh, jeez. There's a and whole fucking no, it was, group of it was, winners it here. It was from his girlfriend. Anybody leave the crystals out so that the moon can fucking absorb into it? It was from his girlfriend, and he was like, dude, was like, dude I don't know how the fuck this shit works, but I can try. And I was like, hit me with it. And he like gave me a reading or whatever, and it, like everyone was making jokes about it, on whether it was like good flags for our, like, our date or bad flags or whatever. And... Um, then she like goes to the bathroom. Like she already looked up right? your horoscope. She's made it up in her mind. That's right. basically what uh, it's based on. Because she, she, she went to the bathroom and she was like taking like a while, but her stuff was there. So it's like, okay, whatever. Just <laughs> looked through a person. <laughs> no, like I, I for, for a split <laughs> second. Nothing but the money. money. <laughs> for a split second, I thought she just dipped, and I was like, oh shit, her stuff is there. Never mind. Oh, that would have been yeah, that right. would have been cold. And I, and then so because I. Uh, one of my friends uh, was there also, and they were talking, and they were both, like, having a good time. And they're both girls, so it's, like, whatever. Yeah. But, um, or one had a boyfriend um, also, because I think they're both bi. Long explanation. It's a throuple. But they're having a good time. They're talking. I felt kind of awkward because I wasn't involved in the conversation because they were talking about people, like, I didn't know. And then she leaves, and I'm, like, waiting. And all of a sudden, she comes out. She's like, dude, I'm so sorry. Like, my... Uh, my friend's ex is trying to break into her place. I gotta go help. Da, 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 and like takes off. She's like, I'll text you and like wait. And I'm like, Relax. real smooth. And I, I looked at my friend. and I was like, dude, she's uh, not texting me. My friend's nope. ex is breaking into to our place. Yeah, Instead of go calling the police, I'm calling my roommate. And I'm like, I'm like, dude, she's we're like, on the case. I mean, that's <laughs> true. I mean, pl but like by the time the police get there, yeah, like five right. minutes later, and they're gonna stand outside for hours. Like five minutes later, she texts me. She's like, dude, I'm so sorry. Like I'm almost like. Oh, she did text and you. And I was like, how about that? And that's why I said I was like, oh, I thought you were just dipping. And she's like, no, you're cute. Like, I just, da, 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 da. Right, you're too adorable. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool, right on. And then uh, she texted me later, and I was like, let me know how it goes. And she's like, oh, it's fine. He left before I got there. Goes. And I was like, okay, whatever. And then the next day, like, um, I, I texted her again the next day, and then got nothing. And, like, like, waited, like, six, seven hours and, like, sent her, like, a dumb meme. And then nothing. Nothing. And then the next day, not funny anymore. She, she's like looking at my stories and shit, but not answering anything. And I'm like, damn. And then um, you're like that Andy meme with Woody. I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> just I, was just like, I was like, all right, whatever. And then uh, I was like, I was still following her. And so I uh, clicked on Fucking her Fucking creep. She was following me too. Like it wasn't like we fell out. We just shut up. 
Um, so that's what you're doing? Like, you're not like talking, thing, but you're following I just did a though? trench coat. <laughs> well, I went to unfollow her, and I, like, uh, clicked on her story or whatever, and it was, like, uh, one of those, like, swipe up things. It was, like, ask any questions. And, like, someone asked, like, what are the red flags you see in a relationship? How long's your clip? And, <laughs> and the, the only one she responded to was some person, uh, was that one. I really got you. <laughs> red flag, you laughs at my jokes. Um, and, it, and it was like, uh, or the red flags in relationships. She's like, oh, when someone gets like too attached and simpy, like too fast. Fuck you then. And I was like, I was like, I showed interest. I hate you. Oh, man. It was weird. And then she said she never. I'm was, gonna break into your uh, apartment with your let me tell you with your roommate's man. ex. Let me tell you something. Her ex. So it was weird because it was like she could have dipped there, and I thought I thought that's what oh, she was fuck. doing, and then it wasn't, and then she dipped anyway. Yep. And I'm, it was just like ghosting is weird to me because if you if you just be mature and just tell someone how it is so we can get over it. If, we, yeah. if we're sitting there guessing, it's gonna make it worse. Let me let me. Let me. And everyone, guys too, but we're guys talking from our lot. perspective. Let me tell you something. We get dissed a lot for it, but we get it enough as well. So let's let's just go ahead and call it for what it is: people doing shitty things to people. Yeah. Let me right. let me tell you something. Freaking, you know these women, they don't like. They don't want alpha males anymore. They don't want. They don't Here want. They don't want to hear no. Go ahead. They don't want to hear uh, a person calling them out for their shit. That's you know, right they they want that simp guy that wants to that try to change. that puts them on a I'll fucking change. pedestal and that just takes shit anything that they say and do. Oh, that's what Lexi they wanted. don't want to be challenged. Yeah. But any alpha male that comes in in presence, they get that. That's why you see like these hot women with see. fucking Pete Davidsons, like. <laughs> Like that, like like that's the new style yeah, now. Got Ariana Grande because because Kardashian. honestly, right. do you do you think he's a fucking alpha he's male? Like he's whatever. got like he's got a fucking plan. No, he's gonna put them on a pedestal and he's gonna do whatever they say, but and and that's what they're look and that's what they're looking for. You you saw the older uh, lady I was uh, talking to, and I called her out with all of her bullshit. You know, she was thirty six years old and she, or thirty four, and she was acting like she was fucking sixteen. Like really? You know what's and she didn't like that I called her out on her bullshit, and it was legit bullshit. It wasn't like I was just like in well, a bad mood. Wait, what? Like what was the bullshit? The bullshit, like um, you know, she would say like she's she would say like you know she was independent. Oh. She's an independent woman, okay. but yet she expects that when she's not at work, I need to be with her. So Why? How, You're good how, on your how, own. How does that's that? That's what independent means. How does that make sense? Okay. You know, and and then. And then yeah, that's really I'm all I can. Yeah. That's, that's really all I can I'm say. Like, yeah, right, yeah. and that's what I did. The the person that's usually a little bit weaker, either uh, an emotional constitution or uh, wasn't faithful, usually moves on first. Mm, yeah. The person that wasn't stays alone, works on themselves, gets the projects going. You know. Because who? How am I going to benefit someone else to want to work hard enough to try and benefit me as well? That's what it needed to be, and she wasn't ever going to do that. She wasn't ever going to work an inch fucking harder for anything. No. No. It was all going to be me, and that's why that had to go. So we're going to take you through, and this is from is written by a woman, Nancy Doyle, and we're going to breeze through it. The thirty. Toxic feminine traits. And guys, listen up if you, you've recognized some of these in yourself. I mean, it's if you, okay. If you see one, run. Right. This one's a great point. Because women attack other women with their toxic femininity a lot. And it goes unlooked by women, mm. which we need to bring light to. Women who think that other women that enjoy cooking, child rearing, homemaking, are perpetuating stereotype gender roles. Enforced by the patriarchy. Guess what? Tearing other women down because they don't enjoy what you do and don't, you know, fit in the same box of your views doesn't make them less of a woman. Right. I mean, look, men can now just, you know. I love cooking. Their, men you can know now what I mean? like, their women now. Who right. gives a fuck, dude? It's all good. All right. We're all equal. Branding unattractive guys as creeps. For the same behavior that attractive guys get away with yep. and even rewarded facts. for. Yeah. Those are facts, dude. I hate that shit. <laughs> so I dumb. get rewarded all the time for being an absolute fucking Muppet. 
And I watch other guys get HR called on them. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm afraid of, dude. Like, seriously, that's what I'm afraid right, of making any, I'm any me move. Too. I'm catching a Me Too. Me that's too. why I just say to myself, and I'm like, you know what, dude? I, I'm not I'm not trying to catch a charge. Right. I'm not trying. I'm not doing well, it. What's always funny with me is, like, I always try to lay that shit out, like, right away. Especially, like, if it's an interaction that we're both aware is not going to be romantic. And it's just going to be... What it is. Fun, you need right? to sign fucking forms. You need a <laughs> no, like, you need a fucking video confession to make sure you know no, that. Because I put that shit straight. Like I'm like, hey, by the way, just so you're comfortable, like I value your consent. Da 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 da. da. Like I always try to say that just so they're comfortable. Dude, with it. Really? Yeah. And wow, every, he's better than me. Every yeah, single I time I, I do that. I thought he was the worst of us, but that's actually really nice. Every <laughs> single time I do that, they're like, no guy has ever said that to me. Oh. And they always well, like, like the girl that broke down crying because you held the door open. The car I just asked. I just asked. You know, if you want me to know it, and you would. Know, like, that's really. That's really as far as that's I go. Like, it's ever like, wanted. It's all I ask. Like, yeah. like, like respecting <laughs> consent is the bar is on the floor. <laughs> like. And according to the one that I mentioned earlier, silence is consent. Oh, I just assume if I'm in their room, one on one alone, that it's good to Right, know. we made it this that, far. It's that's what I'm assuming. Go. If we're in bed together, it's. I'm just assuming like we're good to go. Number yeah, three, good. when a woman assaults a man first. And when a man retaliates, the woman acts like she's the victim, saying, you can't hit a woman. You hit you hit him first, ma'am. Your gender does not absolve you now, of on. your wrongdoing. I'll make that. I'll... If you're tiny, I'm not going to hurt you. Now, when I was assaulted by one of my exes, eventually, yeah, because she wouldn't let go of the fucking steering wheel, I fucking knocked her shoulder. There is, a, there is a point where I think... And we did talk about that fight and fucking laugh about it, too, afterwards. It's actually cool shit. There's a point. If they're fucking know, wailing, if they're fucking wailing on you, then listen, I'm not condoning it, but if, 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 a, woman's will, if a, wo- a woman's willing to fucking hit a man consistently for whatever fucking reason, but you shouldn't lay hands on each other, you, you, know, you might have to strike back. That's all, so all I'm saying. You know why I was getting hit? Because I was leaving. Realized you couldn't have me. Gone for good this time. That's like might as well just fucking that's destroy why, it. That's why guys never like talk about like especially physical abuse. Like they never bring it up. Yeah, because you're not supposed to. Hey, you know what? I talk. You're to supposed to take it. it. Yeah. You're supposed to shut up and take it because you're a man. A woman can't hurt you. You're a man. Um. Yeah. That's In number itself, four. Toxic masculinity. That's number that's four. Crazy. Thinking men can be abused by a woman. Y'all were clinged real tight like catfish to a fucking. <clears throat> Whatever, sucker fish on the wall of a, That's a southern, screen. Like a catfish to a sucker fish. When? Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Oh, you couldn't yeah. fucking stop just, oh, get me more. She pooped on the bed. Oh. oh, Johnny. Poor Johnny. A lot of you are Amber Heard's and you just don't want to admit it. You know what is really annoying, by the way? And I know you, you don't have social probably media. Guilty. No, they're both pieces of shit. Yeah. But the Little Miss whatever yeah. trend that is going on. on okay, get why was it the spin doctors? Why aren't they jumping on that? You know, yeah. little miss, little miss can't be wrong. Man, you're in a singy. I'm always in. You're a, in a bad. Singing, you're in a right? bad mood and a singy attitude. Mm-hmm. I like it. Mm-hmm. Something. Uh, this is another one. Women on women. Nice. Uh, nice. Breast is best. Women who have C sections aren't real mothers. Real women have curves. I'm not like other girls, etc. Now, what? I didn't even know that this existed. Ladies, what? does that really happen? That's awful. I'm so confused on what you just said. C-sections. And- Women who have C-sections aren't real mothers. They're trying to basically, one, like how toxic masculinity, we one-up each other with, oh, yeah, that's nothing because this, whatever. Yeah. So a woman that had C-section, which is can be painful, especially the recovery as well, talking to a friend about how painful it was, and they gave, you know, a natural birth. Oh, that's nothing because, you know, they see them... I really, I don't. In a weird I don't way, see that, somehow. but I'm a dude. Right. I think that's weird. I didn't know that existed. If you're doing that, or if you, you see get it out how that, you can. That that's shit out. You get it out how you can. Yeah. Man. That's all I gotta say. I thought you just take a big poo. It probably feels like that. Um. Uh, nope. But with your like asshole ripping. Yeah. You gotta get. You gotta get and stable, ripping, man. And ripping and ripping and ripping. Yeah. The I'm not like other girls thing is. Yeah. We know you're not like other girls. I mean, I'm not that kind of girl. <laughs> Toxic feminism to me is hating all men. Not all men are the same. Those kinds of girls make it a point to spread that hate and make it a big movement. 
I under this is written by a woman. I understand that. Don't get mad at me. I understand everyone who has their experiences, bad experiences with men who have hurt them. But to spread such hate and make it their personality is not cool. Kind of dig that. Calling every single disagreement mansplaining. You, you know what? You know what? One thing I really hate. I really hate how, and and, and if I'm wrong, I feel as a man. I have to jump through all these fucking hoops, all these qualifications to where a woman doesn't really have to jump hoops and shit. Like, I'm, like I feel like I'm on a fucking job interview and I can't be real. I have to be like, it's like fake or some other person say, to get your fucking approval. Like, I think that's definitely like a society thing, but it's also like... It's a nature thing. Exactly. There's this uh, one of my coworkers. It's just the way it is. Is a very hilarious gay man named Paul. Paul. And he's funny as hell. And um, one of the things he said is, uh, he really. I was talking about something because I remember I told him I was like going on a date and it didn't end up going well. And I was telling him about it, and he was like, "You know what? That's one thing that I'll all be thankful for about being gay is that when you see another man that you're interested in." It's just testosterone. So you both know, oh, yeah, we're gone. All right, five minutes, we're gone. Like, you're gone. You don't have to, like, he said this phrase. Like, you, you don't know have to it. pull the estrogen out. Like, you don't have to try to play any Dude, games. Bill Burr's new special makes a perfect example. He goes, <laughs> he was like, if you look at it, just look at a lesbian's face. And then look at a guy who's, like, 35. He's been married. He's got a couple of kids. Same fucking face. <laughs> lesbians are the only one that understand us right that's really what other guys and lesbians understand us we totally because they, they, they we've just been a lifetime of chasing that and dealing with that and and, and i think another thing is like you know there, there's just a lack of like forwardness like for instance it doesn't like, make me not like, want it any less like, don't get me wrong but i ain't simping for it that's like I mean. like there's a there's a girl who like i talk to who like always claims that she really likes me but yet, like, she never wants to do anything. And, like, she's always an excuse, like, oh, I'm, I'm a bad texter or whatever. But yet, like, every once in a while, she'll, like, come back and, like, say, like, you know, nice, nice oh, yeah. things and all that shit. And it's like, but yet you don't want to do anything. So, like, what what, what are we doing? Like, yeah. I, I don't get this. And just, you know, the, like, I said, at the end of the day, man, f f fuck them all, man. Do you. Do, do you, man. This, fuck them all. This is a good one you'll like, though. I doubt it. When we shit all over men and boys while calling it modern feminism, we don't have to deconstruct and destroy everything masculine just for women to be equal. That is literally the opposite of equality and should be offensive to everybody. Nancy Doyle's a smart lady. I'll, I'll bang Nancy. What do you What do you look for? See, when That's I look... an example of that. Hmm? Does it give, like, an example? Or just... No, just shitting all over guys, you know, like, to make things less masculine. I just don't know why we can't have, like, like a lot of, a lot of team women that mentality. want to become CEOs, mm -hmm. for instance. There's nothing wrong with having that ambition, and there's nothing wrong with attaining it either. But there, that which was also listed, there is something wrong with telling other women that, you know, they shouldn't be quote-unquote breeders and you should aspire to be a CEO for women, you know what I mean? Look, if that's what you want to do, do it. Okay? If she wants to, you know, play Susie Homemaker, that's fine. I want to play Susie Homemaker. I get it! You know? Well, I want to stay at home. I want the woman to be a high power. I talked about this already. Can, can, you I, know be, what I, mean? can I be honest? I'm, I'm almost 29. I work fucking like four or five jobs. Yeah. I, I really don't mind. I wouldn't mind staying at home being right? a single dad, two. to be honest. We do this as well. It's... To be honest, I, I, I'd be cool with a stay at home dad, let a woman take care oh, of me. Oh, hell that's yeah. That's as bad I as have I'm getting. I nothing I'm just wrong saying, with that. I'm fucking, I'm ready for retirement. being nice to each other as well, needs because they rip each other apart. Big time on ripping each other apart. Uh, not, I mean, I they're like they're like ants, dude. They all like the tag team and then bit, bit shit on the men. I got one right here. That's Some women are like. so judgmental about other women. I, yeah, I can see that too. Women who seem to enjoy forming cliques and cutting out anyone they deem to be an outsider. Worked with an office full of them once. It really sucked. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. That goes both sides. Her worst. That's both. I hate that fucking quote. And if you use it, 
Fuck you, it's Marilyn. Good, it's a good quote. No, it, it's not. It yeah, it is. Quote. No, it's not. Yeah, it it's is. Because no. your best and your worst, think about it. No, but you can apply that to even friendships. Anything. Yeah. You can apply that same rule. I'm getting out now. Shit. I'm just saying. No, you can shit right. on the quote, so, right. but, but you, it, but but that's yeah. But chicks point. use it all the time because Marilyn Monroe said it. And guess what? Your best isn't that great, and your worst is fucking atrocious. How about that? But, but again, I'm saying that's for anybody, and yeah. you can use that all for right. any social situation, because that that's how that's even how you pick your friends, right? Who's staying with me? Who you know? Who's checking in on me at my worst? Okay. Then you get their bet. So it's it's a principle you can get on anything. And well, Nate as a man, listed it as a toxic feminine trait because they use that quote quite often. You, I, I mean, look, I'm sure women when usually do. Usually, they're pieces of shit. But you can use that too. But you can use that as well. I feel that like same principle. The idea of the quote is a good quote and a good principle, but. The people who and look who aren't. said it. Somebody that fucking you know took way too many drugs and fucked around with you know the president and married people. You know, yeah, yeah, she was fucking. Hey, gotta do what you gotta do. I know. I well, get that's it. My point is the people who it. don't embody a good person as a whole use that quote to try and like uplift right. themselves. Yeah. Which is so that's why saying. anybody that says it, I don't listen to you. I already know everything I need to. <laughs> <laughs> Little Miss can't be wrong. So positive. No, that's why I'm staying single. I'm very positive about that. Let's just all like move in together. I'm gonna be just celibate have a as well. Pad. I'm gonna be celibate as well. I ain't okay, now nobody. you're taking it. Now I you're ain't taking it for now, but now I don't fucking nah, care anymore. I don't care anymore. Get That's a, a lie. Get a second. I have a never. Yeah, no, why should I have to do that? You don't want kids, do you? Just no, to, just to make sure. You just, have, just have surgery for the fuck up. No, no one's no. You still get shit coming out. It just doesn't have the, the little dudes in it. Dude, that's fucked up. Man. Don't, I ain't doing it just no. for fucking no reason. That's a if I ain't fucking thing. nobody anyway, why would I get it done? Should be so you're gonna be a Mormon? Oh my god. No, they have multiple wives. He doesn't want. Oh, one that's not what a Mormon is. Oh, I'm sorry. Good lord. <laughs> Whoops. All right, oh, what was well, that? <laughs> that was a this has been a train wreck. Yeah. That was a conversation did about. You, did you clear some shit up though? Do you feel a little bit better? No. No, oh. he doesn't. Wow. No. I feel sorry for you. I'm it's sorry. good talk though. It was good learning about like. Mm. What? We got, yeah, we well, got. Well, on that list, like that one that too, uh, that was shitting all over men every time I hung out with her, and I was like, oh yeah, you know, I kind of happen to be a guy too, you know. So, <laughs> think about that, and then lo and behold, when you broke up with your mm. last ex, and I had you over here because I knew you weren't in a great place, mm. and she uh, was like. You know, commending me for being such a great friend and thought it was super sweet. That night, she went out with her girlfriend and gave her number to somebody else, and I could tell the vibe was off. And mm. I was like, and she's like, oh, so you don't fuck with me no more? And I was like, yeah, pretty much. I mean, you it's hilarious. You exhibited the very behaviors that you claim to hate so much. Like, right. you become the what you despise. Yeah. That's deep. And, and you are this... You know, I'm fucking Iron Clawed Angel, Hillary Swank, fucking, you know, yeah. woman power vagina hat, bitch. But you know what? Listen. Now it, I'm going to say bitch. T- take a break. Bitch. It's all right to take a break and Aww, have time for yeah. yourself. I'm just saying. Yeah. And it's that's okay. what I'm doing. Do you. Work on yourself. That's the mature thing to do. That's right. Fuck all of them. Yeah. Work hard and... Later, later, just keep doing your own thing. Stay and in your own path, and then the end, you will prove them wrong. A rich old lady, make them miss you. Who will let me end. clean her pool? I will say though, anyone who's watching, me and Will are still available. No, yeah. I'm really not, to be honest. Never mind. I'm still. Available. Ryan's available. <laughs> I'm, I'm, off, I'm taking myself off the he's market. He's off the market. He's a little wishy washy. I mean, I'll fuck. Um, that's about it. Hey, you know. That's as, that's as what much do you as call you're going to get. Sex with three people. A good threesome. time. What do you call sex with four people? A four. And even that's ba- why they call me handsome. That's it. <laughs>